and then just start squeezing. Oh, huh, huh, huh. <laughs> Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Okay, guys, what you're looking at here is New Treasure X Season 3, Aliens vs. Kings. That is so cool. Look at this. You got two treasure hunters, but the one on the right here is a galactic treasure hunter. He's the one that's found inside an alien. And the one over on the left-hand side, he's an earthbound treasure hunter. He's one of the kings that we got to rescue from a sarcophagus. Now, before we get too far, and you notice over to the left-hand side here, we have 24 levels of adventure fun. And then down below that, you got three treasure quests inside. We'll go over that bit more in just a minute on the back of the box because there's a bigger picture of that. And then down below that, you can see it includes one alien, one hunter, and one mini beast. Well, the alien swallowed a galactic treasure hunter. So it's actually going to be two, an alien with a treasure hunter inside, plus another hunter, and plus a mini beast. So up at the top, you got a picture of the king versus the alien. You got the alien over here with the circuit board, you know, space. They got to have electronics and stuff just to jet around. And then you've got the king that you're looking for in here. And then on one side of the box, it says it includes a mini beast and a treasure hunter. And there's one of three treasure hunters that you may find in this box. And then on the other side of the box, save me, I'm inside an alien. That's X-Face. Oh, that's a pretty face. <laughs> in any case, he's one of three galactic treasure hunters that we may find within this box. And then on the back of the box, you can see again, we've got that guaranteed real gem inside. And it says that the galactic treasure hunters have been digested by aliens while searching for real gems, the universe's most valuable power source. Dissect the alien to rescue the treasure hunter and discover amazing treasures from another world. Discover treasure hunters and mini beasts who have become trapped on their quest in 24 levels of adventure fun for the ultimate prize in the galaxy. Okay, like I said, we got a bigger picture on the back here that the three quests you have inside is to one, dissect the alien and rescue the treasure hunter inside. And you also find that guaranteed real gem. <laughs> Sweet. The other one is to smash, dig, and release both the treasure hunter from his sarcophagus and the mini beast from his. So let's go over here. The first one is the mini beast. The first step you'll do is remove the tool. Then two, dig and reveal the wrapped mini beast. Three, unwrap your mini beast. Four, find the treasure bag. And inside the treasure bag, look out! You're going to be snacked on by some vermin. Could be a snake, a spider, or a scorpion. And then you'll pull out the treasure and display your mini beast with your treasure. You have the treasure hunters. So first, you're going to find the shield. Number two, remove the tool. Three, smash through the top. Number four, dig and reveal the wrapped treasure hunter and weapon. Five, unwrap your treasure hunter. Six, find the treasure chest and key. And then when you unlock it, look out. A bug's going to snack on you again. I mean, they just love these vermin, these bugs. And then you'll find your treasure and display the treasure with your hunter. And then finally, dun dun dun, the alien. So one, you're going to grab the tool to dissect or cut open the alien to rescue the galactic treasure hunter inside. And also, number four, you got a critter. And then there you go, number five, the treasure. Sweet! And then you're going to have some ooze that you can squish around and play with the alien. So that's going to be fun. And then seven, play, and then you can actually store the ooze. Ooze! Well, let's get started, guys. So let me flip this around and let's open the box. So we got some tape here. I've got my butter knife and we'll just go ahead and cut through this and cut through that. And we got tape on the side here, X face, excuse me, pardon me. And then on the other side, flip it around and slice the tape there. Now we're good to go. Now we can go ahead and flip it open and Wow, look at that. That is so cool. We got our little tweezers to do the operation with our alien. Then we have the mini beast. We have the container that we can store our ooze in. And then we have the other treasure hunter, the king that we want to rescue. So who should we do first? Great, I agree with you. Let's do the mini beast. We'll work our way up to the treasure hunter and then we'll, we'll go ahead and do him. But you know what would really be helpful before we start digging all this out is there should be a map inside, like a treasure map, a quest. And go ahead and take a look. I think it's right in here. So let's go ahead and pull this plastic covering off. So to do that, you've got tape here and here. So I'm gonna get my butter knife again and then just go ahead and cut the tape there and cut it over here. There we go. And that plastic will just come right off. Fabu. Oh, I see it. There's the map. Cool. Let's pull that out, put that aside for a second, and go through the map. You can see it's got two sides to it. Let's start on this side right here. Three to collect from. 
And they are Feral Loot Loot, <laughs> Gold Blade, and Gold Fin. And they are rare crystal finish figures. Say that really fast. Rare crystal finish figures. <laughs> Down below, you've got your mini beasts, Golrab, Wixers, and Poisane. And then below that, you've got your treasures. Super Speed, Warrior Skull, Legendary Language, Trophy Head, Limitless Lungs, and Fearsome Fugle. I like that one. That sounds pretty cool. Say that many times fast. Fugu, fugu. And then down below, you got your instructions for the quest. Okay, guys, uh, let's go over these first three here. I want to do a flashback. In other words, these guys aren't new to Treasure X. So, for example, let's take a look at Feral Loot Loot, Gold Blade, and Gold Fin and see what their origins were. And they were originally back in Season 1 of Treasure X. So, let's go over here, pull up our map. And do you see him in here? Look, there's Goldfin. He was part of Season 1, the Treasure X. And then below there, you've got the Blade Brigade, and there's Goldblade. And then below that, that's right, the Tomb Hunters, we've got Feral Loot Loot. So they were all in Season 1, and then they moved on. What did they move next to? Well, after Season 1, well, we had Season 2, but before we got to that, we had what was called... Remember this? Treasure X legends and of the legends you see the three up at the top you have the king you have Feral loot loot over here and you have gold blade those were the three that were available in this set right here which by the way we're going to do a reveal for notice that these two were memorialized in the legend set and so of the two gold blade and Feral loot loot and there's a good picture of them right there the two that those two moved on and got memorialized into season three now, King Gold Crown didn't make it, but who took his place? Because remember, there's three in the aliens here. Remember our three here? Well, in place of King Gold Crown, you've got Gold Finn. So the two, Gold Blade and Farlulu, stayed. King Gold Crown left, and then you've got Gold Finn. Now, that was season one. They got memorialized into the legends, at least two of the three. And then season three, the treasure hunters. Let's take a look and see where they're all at. You see them right there? The heroes of Exio. There they all are. For a loot loot, gold blade, and gold fin. So if you've been collecting along the way, then in season one, you've got all three of them. That is, if you're lucky to, enough to get all three and then be memorialized, You've got two of the three here because the other one, Goldfin, wasn't available here in the Legends set. And then Season 3, you would have these right here. And then finally, this is what we're looking for right now. So let's go over this really quick, okay, guys? There's Feral Loot Loot, Season 1. Here's Feral Loot Loot again, and this is the Legends. Here's Feral Loot Loot in Season 3 with the shield and treasure in a shield. And do I dare do the next one? It's kind of a spoiler. Yeah, I've been poking around and opening up the Kings vs. Aliens, and I found this guy, Loot Loot. He's so cool looking. I know it's kind of a spoiler here, but I don't know. I mean, there's two others that I could get in this reveal here, right? So in this one, I'm hoping to get Gold Blade or Gold Fin. That's okay, but I just wanted to do this because I wanted to show you the chronology, Season 1, Legends, Season 3, Season 2, totally bypassed it. And then finally, Aliens vs. Kings. Sweet. Are you guys collecting them all? Put them in the comments below if you got all four of these guys. That would be cool. So let's put these guys aside. And let's go to the next one right here. These three guys. The Mini Beasts. Now, do the Mini Beasts look familiar? If you've been going through the Mini Beasts Season 3, well then, Golrab, Wixers, and Poisane. You can see the Season 3 map, the Collector's Guide right there. The Heroes of XCO, the Mini Beasts. And one's a rare crystal finish, Poisane. So there you go, Wixers, Golrab, and Poisain. Cool. So what they've been, as you can see here, is part of one of the three mini beasts that you may find within the Aliens vs. Kings. Cool. And then the treasures down below. Do those treasures look familiar? Well, these treasures right here are a mix from the Mini Beast Season 3 and also from the Hunter Season 3. So for example, you'll take a look at some of these right here, like the Fearsome Fugu and the Warrior Skull. Well, there you go. Here's the mini beast. See, there's the mini beast down below. But the mini beast treasure, the common treasures, not the gold. Oh, see there. There's your trophy head. There's the warrior skull. <laughs> and also our glow in the dark, fearsome fugu. Cool. And then from there, we come over to season three hunters. 
and the treasures. We have to go to the other side of the map this time to be able to find them. They're all right here in the kingdom of heroes, the heroes of Exio. Those are the three other treasures. Limitless lungs, down below that, legendary language. And then the coolest one that I really super like is the super speed. That's awesome. So guys, that was just a flashback, a little bit of synopsis, a little bit of history of where this is all accumulating to when it comes to everything you see here. Now, on the other side, you can see the mission objective, which is galactic treasure hunters have been eaten by aliens during their search for powerful gems, the most valuable treasure in the universe. Dissect the aliens, save the treasure hunter, and discover their amazing treasures from around the galaxy. And you are guaranteed a real gem treasure. Okay, guys, so what you got here is you got the three aliens that swallowed up the three hunters over on the right-hand side. And the three are the aliens, Uzagal, who's blue, green is Gizmuk, and Volgunk is the yellow-red alien. Now, which one's swallowed up which? Is it just a random mixture? Well, when I got this guy right here, remember, Feral Loot Loot, I opened up the green one, Gizmuk, and it came with X-Face, and I found Feral Loot Loot. And so, like you see here, we open this up, and who's this, the green one? Muck. Try to say that with emphasis, Muck. And so I'm suspecting we're gonna find the same thing. We'll get uh, X-Face again, we're gonna get Feral Loot Loot. Now, not only does Feral Loot Loot come with X-Face, who is inside of Gizmuk, but remember, we also have the mini beasts. And so let's keep that as a secret. In fact, let's go ahead and get opening here. And the first thing that I wanna do when it comes to opening this up is let's crack through the mini beasts first. So let me go ahead and pull that out, put that aside. Okay, with the mini beast, he's gonna be found inside the smaller of the two sarcophaguses. And you can see up at the top of it, you've got a dragon's head, turn it over, the other dragon's head, and then you've got the digging tool here. And I find the easiest way to get the plastic that's wrapped around it off is at the back. I don't know if you can see it, but you've got two seams here that if you take your fingernail and you know start digging in between the two seams with it, or better yet, may the fork be with you, go ahead and slide that down and then just pull it and that makes it really easy. So we've got a top and a bottom to this. So go ahead and grab the top, grab the bottom, twist and pull in. There we go. Cool. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Look at the blue rock. That is so sweet. Awesome. But since this blue rock does stain, I'm going to go ahead and grab a paper plate. And then you grab your digging tool. Just grab that off. And there you go. That's what it looks like. And you see that little shovel part right there. Just go ahead and dig in. And because the blue rock does stain, I want to put it inside this paper plate here. And oh, there we go. And it's empty. And we've got our two bags. We'll talk about those in just a minute here. But first of all, the blue rock. I mean, doesn't that look cool? You can squeeze it and pull it. And I said this before, but it looks like Rice Krispie Treats. <laughs> I mean, look how stringy that is. It's like Spider-Man. That is so cool. You can even squeeze it into a ball and drop it. But when you're done, make sure that you wash your hands before you eat anything or touch anything for that matter because it will stain. Now you can see just a little bit on my hands here. So I want to make sure we wash that off when we're done. We'll go ahead and put that to the side. Now next, inside your mini box, besides the blue rock, you're going to find two bags. One's going to hold the treasure. The other one's, well, obviously the large one's going to hold the mini beast. So let's go ahead and open up the mini beast. And you can see this bag. Notice how it looks like it's got cloth wrappings. Well, that's what they did back in the olden days. You know, they buried the mummies in this cloth. And that's what it looks like. But as you can see in here, it's plastic. And the easiest way to tear open the, the bag is, I don't know if you can see on either side, you got a little tear here. And also on the other side of the bag, just go ahead and pinch your fingers above and below and pull really fast. And there you go. Cool. Very simple. So who did I get? Let's go ahead and dump them out. And it is Golrab. Woo! <laughs> Look at him. He's pretty cool. I like him, Golrab. I mean, some sort of big, huge beetle. And there's the top of it. And he's got this big horn. He can gouge. Look out. He'll poke. And so he's looking pretty sweet. And then now for our treasure, let's see what we got. As you can see here, again, it's another cloth bag and there's a little tear on either side. You just have to pinch above and below it and pull and there you go. So what's my, oh, you gotta be careful. You're gonna get snacked on because not only did you get a treasure, but ow, we have the scorpion. He snacked me. He's looking pretty cool. And then we've got our treasure right there. As you can see here, 
That is our warrior skull. Cool. So we got our gold rab, warrior skull, and then our little scorpion. Awesome. Okay, next. And let's bring this back and dig out our king, as it were, our treasure hunter, who's buried inside this box. And you'll notice you got a shield there that's gonna store the treasure that we will find inside the sarcophagus. And you, of course, you got a picture of a king here. He's looking all cool. And you can see it's wrapped in plastic. So again, to be able to unwrap this, I find if you go to the back of the box, you got the two seams, take your finger, start tearing at it as it were, or use the fork and slice right through that. It comes off, cool. And then next, I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger to pull out the shield. We got our shield, looks cool. Of course, you can see the handle on the back that the uh, treasure hunter is gonna hold the shield with. And then you got a top, you got the bottom, go ahead and pull and there we go. Oh, look at there, we've got our digger tool. Let's go ahead and pull that out. For those of you who've been season three already, you'll see that you've got a saw side and a poker side to be able to cut through the top, which looks like wood planks. So you can cut through those wood planks, saw or poke. And then once you get through it, you're gonna find blue rock to which you'll flip this over and use the digger tool. Awesome. So we're gonna bring back again our plate. We already have blue rock on it because this does get kind of messy. And so do you wanna saw it, saw, saw, saw? That kind of is a little bit hard because you gotta apply some pressure to it. Or you can poke, 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 and do it that way. And then once you get some purchase, you know, you start digging with your fingers and the blue rock gets a little messy. So I'm gonna use the fork to kind of help me pop open the rest. It's like vinyl, it's like leathery kind of a thing here. It's pretty cool, it feels kind of cool too. Huh. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull the rest of this out and use our fingers here to pull that off. Sweet. And there we go. More blue rock, more to play with. Awesome. Maybe I'll build a blue rock castle. And then of course we get our digger tool here to go ahead and dig through this. Oh man, that's hard blue rock. This has been sitting in here for a while. Well, <laughs> that's a sarcophagus. <laughs> the guy's been in here for a long time. He's probably starving. Wow, look at that. <laughs> it's all stringy. I mean, that's cool stuff. I really like it. Rice crispy treats. Oh, and then there we go. We got the blue rock out. We already know about that stuff, but now we have more of it, which is awesome. There, you like my sand castle? It's a blue rock castle. Yeah. So in here, you got a couple of bags. We'll pull those out. Well, you got three bags. Of these bags is one is you're gonna have inside the flat one, the skinniest one is gonna be your weapon for your treasure hunter and also the key, which will unlock the square package here, which is gonna be your treasure chest. That's gonna have your treasure and a little vermin's gonna snack you. And then once you get the treasure out and you put it, don't forget your shield, you put it inside your shield, you're gonna put the shield in the treasure hunter in this bag. So let's get started let's go ahead and there you go. Plastic again, just find a little tear on either side and then pinch above it and below it and pull and there we go. Now we can cheat because the moment I dump the contents of this bag out onto the table, it's gonna be a weapon, right? So which weapon am I gonna get? If it's this kind of weapon, then I know I got Feral Toot Toot. <laughs> so let's see if I got that. I'm guessing that I did because in my experience, whenever I got the green alien here, as I just went over, Gizmok, and then Feral Loot Loot comes with him. So I'm gonna go ahead and just Dump it out. Oh, there you go. Okay. So the two items you found in here and that blade right there, which one has this blade? That's right. Feral Loot Loot. So I cheated. That's who I got, but that's so cool because I do like him. Out of all of them, I think he's he's my favorite. My second favorite would be Gold Blade, and then the third would be Gold Fin. So we've got the key. We've got the sword. Let's go ahead and... Since we already know who he is, let's open up the treasure hunter, Feral Loot Loot. Pull it up. There we go. And we got a little tear right here. And just pull that and dump him out. Now, I'd be shocked if it wasn't Feral Loot Loot, but yay! <laughs> it's cool. I mean, I just love pharaohs and um, Egypt and pyramids, and this is what it reminds me of. And look, he's got his gold bunny slippers. Do they look like bunny slippers to you? 
Well, in any case, they're not bunny slippers. They're actually gold um, snake shoes. So in any case, hey, his toes get cold. He's got to wear something at night. <laughs> so cool. So we have a sword and we'll put the sword in his right hand. Now look, he hasn't shaved for a while. His goatee is long. And so let's go ahead and put him there. And then finally the treasure. Let's open that up. And there you go. And tear it, pull it. And you must bring out Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. X marks a spot. That's the hole where you're going to put the key in. And then at the top, you've got a skull and crossbones saying, don't open me. Don't open me. I will snack you because there's a vermin inside protecting the treasure. So let's go ahead and get our key. Don't forget the key. Now, if you lost the key, um, what you can do is you can take both sides and pinch it. When you pinch it, it'll pop open the lid. But for right now, as far as the key works, you just go ahead and push it. And oh, did you see that? <laughs> just got the treasure came shooting out, and then I got snacked on by what? Oh, it's a beetle. You see that? Hey, it's beetle, beetle juice, beetle juice, beetle juice. That's that little beetle he got me. But the treasure is one of my favorites here, and it's this one right here. The super speed. That's cool looking. That little snake with the little insignia in here in his mouth. That's awesome. I love it. Now, don't forget that this treasure has got to fit inside a shield. So how do you do it? Well, in the shield, I don't know if you can see it, but up at the top of the shield is a little tooth right there. Now, that tooth is going to line up to the treasure's hole. Well, I don't know if you can see right there, but there's a little hole at the top of the head of the snake that if you line the hole up to the tooth up at the top of the shield, you'll be able to put it in and let's just... Give it a good push, snap, and there you go. That looks awesome. Yes! And so we're just gonna put that in his other hand here. Hey, he's got the clothes that says, I can either lay back and lie around or I can go ahead and fight and take my gold back. <laughs> in any case, he looks cool. Awesome. So we've got him, we've got Golrab, we got our bugs, and don't forget we've got our treasures here. So we had the warrior skull, then we had then we had our super speed. Now finally, we get to our alien to rescue one of the hunters, a galactic hunter inside him. Okay, so up at the top, we got this little container that when we get to the use inside of the alien, and that you can store it in here. So that's kind of a cool little flying saucer. And okay, so we got our tool here. Now the tool is tied down, so you may want to get your butter knife and just kind of saw it, those little thin rubber bands there just kind of saw it and it'll come off there you go there's the tool and so you got a pincher tool to dig out the uh, hunter from the alien and then of course you got the sharp side to cut him open so let's go ahead and do that to get him out we've got more tape on the side here you see the tape here so I'm gonna go ahead and saw through that and then there's tape on this side right there that tape there stage prop let's go ahead and pull this out and uh, he just comes out easy squeezy there we go and look on the back it tells you what's going on one fill head with ooze that you find inside the alien and then two squeeze the head ooze oh that'd be cool we'll do that and then we just pull them out of the plastic here and then you can see right there, the cutter tool, it wants you to cut down along his stomach and up along here. So we'll pull that tag off now that we know what to do. And of course on the back, you know, the ooze part, and we'll pull that out as well. Let's get our cutter tool. This is the hardest part of the operation. Now, if there were M&Ms inside, I wouldn't sweat at all, but let's go ahead and, I don't know if you can see it, but you see those holes right there? If you want to start by putting that inside and cutting down this side and cutting down that side, you can leave the top secure so you can just flip open the stomach there and be able to grab the treasure hunter inside. That way you still have it attached and you can flip it down instead of cutting it off completely. It's your flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then just cut inside. Oh, oh his, his head's coming off. <laughs> Uh, I didn't say it was an easy operation. Um, okay, maybe we'll try to give him a little bit of decorum as we go through. It's like dissecting frogs back in uh, the days when I was in middle school, biology, but aliens. I mean, what could be cooler? So we'll just keep sawing and sawing. I mean, you see that little perforated edge right there? 
that's what you're supposed to be sawing with. And so if you can get it in far enough, oh, there we go. And then we'll try this other side here. And then at some point, you can, you can simply tear it open. Oh, and look, his rib cage. <laughs> it got broken when I was cutting it. Now, the rib cage ought to come right out, but if it doesn't come out, you see these little notches up at the top here on either side, you can just stick it back in there. So if you wanna do that and just pop it back in there, there you go. It's like we never did the operation. And so then of course you can pull it back out. But you notice how I got the flap here? So that way with it not being entirely cut off, I can leave it on, cover it back up. We need to pull out what's inside and it's gonna be this bag. So let's pull out the bag that contains the ooze and also our treasure hunter. Okay, now the bag, you can see, it's got a dash line and it's got the picture of the tool here that it wants you to cut through that. So if you wanna take the side that's jagged here and hold it up here and start like sawing down, maybe somebody else could hold it. Or if you wanna pinch it between two fingers and then just saw down. There we go, it finally cut. Or you know, with those little perforations up at the top, you could just uh, try to tear through it and oh, oh, oh yeah. Gizmuck, you are muck. <laughs> so here he goes. I think I know what we're finding. We're finding X face. Wasn't I right about this? So it's been con oh guys, man, can you imagine trying to rescue this guy? Look at that. Oh. Ew. And it's sticky too, but here's a tip. You see how it's sticking to me? Well, over here in the sarcophagus, I filled it up with water. As long as you have dry hands or dry anything, it's gonna stick pretty well to it. So if you don't want it to stick to your hands, dip your hands in the water and it just slides right off, it doesn't stick at all. So let me go ahead and dip it in the water and look at that, see? No problems with the stickiness. Here, I mean, you can see that. That is so cool looking. Look at that slide. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That is cool. Oh, great. I'm gonna put it on, okay. We got his gun. There's his gun. Okay. And then, what else we have in here? Oh. <laughs> it's such a cool feeling, the slime. Oh man. Okay. Now remember, we're guaranteed a real gem. And I think it's in here. Well, it's the only thing that I see that I can't see. It's wrapped. That everything else is just, well, there we go. There's X-Face. And guess what he's got next to him? Look at Mr. X-Face. He's got his friend. It's Mr. Critterhead. Oh, he's so friendly. I kept him friendly while he was waiting for us to dig him out. So that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at him. Oh, look at that. Ew, and he's got a tail too. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, that's so sticky. Now we'll just pull the rest of this off. Ah, ah. Okay, look at this guy. And there you go. There's Mr. X-Face, there's his gun. Okay, now next with the slime, don't forget this muck that you can take off his head. And at the bottom of his head, you got this little plug that you can pull and it opens up a hole there in his head where you can go ahead and take your, ew, kind of looks like a little snotty. Okay, not to be disgusting, but it is a little green and sticky. Okay, stick into my hands again. So remember, dip it in water. We've got our water over here, dip it there, and then it doesn't stick at all. So let's go ahead and put this into his head and push it in there. Oh, he's happy. This is what he lives for. He loves green slime. And you just keep pushing it in there until it's all in there. And then you go ahead and plug the hole. And then you're ready for a surprise. Go, hey, mom, come take a look. And then just start squeezing his, oh, <laughs> it just keeps coming. Keep squeezing his head. A sinus congestion. So, look at that. Oh, yeah. So in any case, to protect this and save it for future use, you've got your little flying saucer here, as it were. Go ahead and get your fingernail in there and just and pry it between the green and the gold. And there you go. And then you can put your goop in there and then seal the goop. And 
we got it saved. Okay, finally this right here. Um, you can see you got the uh, black dotted line here, or you can try to, oh, there you go. I finally got a good tear, and then tear it. And awesome. <laughs> Oh, sticking to me now. I need to wet my fingers again. There's the real gem right there. That's awesome, look at that. It almost looks like a wedding ring or something. I mean, gonna propose to some girl out there? I mean, put that in some other girl's hand? Uh, Hexabella, will you marry me? Oh, X face you're so sweet. Of course I will. I mean, where would I be without the X in Hexabella? I'd just be Habella. And also, you're the X in my hex. <laughs> Here, let me put this gem ring on for you. Oh, yes, please do. Um, my shield? Here, let me get that. Oh, X-Face, you're so disarming. I put this on for you right here. Oh, oh. There you go. Mwah! Oh, this is so beautiful, my ring. It's a gem. I just loved you so much over the years when I write you all those mash letters. I'd sign it, love, Hexabella, X. Oh, X, oh, cause you're my ex kissy face. <laughs> oh, X face, who's gonna marry us? Oh, I know just the person. It's Pharaoh Loot Loot. What? There's no X in Pharaoh Loot Loot. But he's one of the heroes of Exio. Oh, that's right, X face. Without the X in Exio, I'd be known as EO. EO, EO, O. Oh, that's just wondrous. Oh, what about your best man? Oh, I got him. That's right. It's me, Exus. I mean, without the X and Exus, I'd be Is. And I don't want to be Is. I sound spookier with Exus. Oh, that's just wonderful. Oh, you're so bad, Mr. Exus. This is great. Now, what about everybody else who will attend our wedding? I know, keeping with the theme with you, Mr. X-Face, how about if we fight everybody who has something to do with the letter X? Today's letter is the letter X. Okay, come on in, guys. Oh, X-Face, look at all our friends here. Remember, we also have with the letter X, over here are toxic plunderers, and oh, there's just so many here that begin or have the letter X in their name or in their category. Oh, this is just beautiful. And look what they got for us. They got treasures. Oh, let me go over here and grab this one. They got my favorite. Oh, the toxic poop from one of the toxic plunders. Oh, yay, it's just so wonderful. Oh, X face, this is just the best wedding ever. The best, best ever. ever. Well, in any case, that's what I was thinking. That's pretty cool, that power gem there and his gun, awesome. Please click on one of these videos for more events and fun.